Well, 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 and yet again, we lose another megastar. Ronaldo joins Lionel Messi on his way home. Portugal will lose to Uruguay, two, get, two goals to one. Um, yeah, I, I, I was hoping, honestly, I was hoping that Portugal would go through. But, uh, yeah, so a little disheartened. But Uruguay, to be honest with you, with a better side. They look threatening, hopefully. Um, well, I'll get to that in a minute. But Cavani... Uh, with two goals, I think, two goals for the day. One off his face, face ball, and uh, the other beautiful strike. Beautiful strike. As for, as for Portugal, Pepe from the from the corner. Give him a little bit of hope. Um, he actually equalised quite early in the second half, but but not for very long before uh, Cavani with the winner. Um, but yeah, he, Cavani was actually substituted off with what looks like a bit of an injury, so hopefully he's okay because I think they'll need both of them, Suarez and Cavani, to, uh, to continue their... You know, decent run. I think they've got a good chance now. They will be taking on France in the old quarterfinals, um, which will be on Friday. So that's a, that's a tasty one to look forward to. But Portugal will be going home with Argentina on a day full of, um, you yeah, know, I wouldn't even call them shocks, to be honest with you. I think, I think France were probably favourites ahead of Argentina. And I think today maybe, maybe Uruguay were favourites ahead of Portugal because... You know, you could only go so far with, with their performances. I think Portugal have been lucky. Um, fortunate to fight back against Spain, 3-3. The win against Morocco wasn't that easy. And the, the, the draw against um, Iran was a bit uh, nervy as well. So, um, was that a draw against Iran? Yeah, it was a draw against Iran. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're going to go. So, unfortunately, the European champions are going home. But the journey continues for Uruguay, and they're going to be a, a force to be reckoned with. I think they, they, could, they could trouble France, and they could easily make the semi-finals where the likelihood is, again, there's a long way away. They could face Belgium or, or Brazil at that stage of the semi-finals, which would be a belter, which would be a belter. Um, but yeah, fun packed day full of football today. Two decent games. I think the first one obviously outshades the second one with the seven goals compared to these three. But uh, yeah, the, the Uruguay. Yep, look decent. And uh, I think they're just getting warmed up. They're just getting warmed up with the defense that they have and the, and the forward line that they have. You know, they might have the complete package here. I'm not not too sold on their midfield, but that's just my point of view. But uh, I know a couple of Uruguayans will be happy, and hopefully we can hear from them a little bit later on. As for Portugal, hopefully I can get some fan input a little bit later on for our detail review. But until then, we'll, uh, we'll let you get out of here. And we'll look forward to tomorrow's action where who's on Spain, Russia and Denmark, Croatia. So still loads of good football games coming up and we'll take a look at them, all of them right here on the channel. If you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button and also give it a good old thumbs up and all that kind of good stuff. And we'll speak to you very soon. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Now, if you are interested in that Cast the Cat app, you want to hit that button right there. It'll send you over to my WordPress site where you can find a downloadable link. Also, if you've yet to subscribe to the channel, hit that magical button right there. This is your one-stop shop for the 2018 World Cup. I've also got old previews and reviews that you can check out down there. And also, let me hear your thoughts and opinions. Whack them in the comment section below, and I will see you all very, very soon.